It's time, it's time, it's time for Ask Adam. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Adam and I love questions. I love asking questions. I love answering questions. I love everything to do with questions. Today's question comes from brothers Jackson and Lincoln who live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada is right next door to California where I live. Las Vegas is only a four hour drive from Los Angeles. How far is Las Vegas, Nevada from where you live? Las Vegas is a very famous city. It is known as the city that never sleeps. Some places in Las Vegas are open 24 seven, which means you can get a hamburger at one in the morning. Now, back to Jackson and Lincoln's question. The brothers ask, where do clouds come from? Ooh, I love clouds. You know, the big white fluffy things in the sky? I love laying on the grass and looking up and trying to find ones that are shaped like different things. One time, I saw a cloud that looked just like a bunny rabbit with an adorable fluffy white tail. Where was it? Oh right, clouds. Clouds are so cool, but I have no idea where they come from. Do you know where clouds come from? Well, in order to answer Jackson and Lincoln's question, I need to put on one of my magic adventure hats, which will give me the knowledge to answer their question and transport us to the clouds. Which of my magic adventure hats should I wear to transport us to the clouds? My weather hat, my cowboy hat, or my birthday hat? My weather hat, very good. Now, to transport us to the clouds, we have to say the magical phrase, cuckoo bananas, three times. Say it with me. Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. You did it. We made it. And look at all these clouds. With my magic weather hat on, I can tell you all about clouds. The best place to look at the clouds is somewhere outdoors, like a park or your backyard. I just love laying in the grass and looking up at the sky. Let's try and find something in the clouds. When you see something, shout it out. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think I see anything. Do you see anything? Ooh, look over there. What's that look like? A fish. Very good. Let's keep looking. Ooh, I think I see something else. Do you see it too? It's a bicycle. Nice. Let's look over here now. Okay, I think there's one more. Ooh, I think I see a fruit approaching. Do you see it? What kind of fruit is it? It's an apple. Correct. Great job. Now that we've had our fun, it's time to get serious about clouds. In order to explain where clouds come from, let me introduce you to the water cycle. This is the water cycle. And there are three big words that are a part of the water cycle that I want to introduce to you. They are evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. These three are the three main steps that happen in the water cycle. I will explain how each of these steps are important to how clouds are made. Now our Earth has lots of water on it. Oceans, lakes, rivers. Over 70% of our Earth is covered in water. When the big bright sun heats up the water, the water turns from regular water into water vapor. Or, as you may know it, steam. You know how when you take a hot shower, the mirror gets all steamy? Well, when the sun heats up the water, the water vapor begins to travel up into the sky. This process is called evaporation. Now, once the water vapor has traveled from the earth all the way up into the sky, it starts to turn back into regular water and collect to form water droplets. These droplets then form together to create clouds. This step is called condensation. So condensation is the step in the water cycle where clouds form. But when too many water droplets collect together, the cloud gets too heavy and begins to release water, like 
Rain! This process is called precipitation. The water travels from the sky to the earth and the whole cycle starts all over again. Well, I think we did it. We answered Jackson and Lincoln's question, where do clouds come from? I think it's now time to go back home, but I need your help. In order to take me back home, we need to say the magical phrase, cuckoo bananas, three times. Say it with me. Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas. Whoa! Oh! We did it. We answered Jackson and Lincoln's question, where do clouds come from, and learned all about the water cycle. To recap, the water cycle is made up of three main parts, evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. Do you remember in which of those stages clouds form? Condensation, very good. Remember, first water turns to water vapor in evaporation. Then, once the water is in the sky, it forms together to make clouds during condensation. And lastly, when the clouds get too heavy, it starts to rain and the water travels back down to the earth during precipitation. And it happens over and over and over again. What an amazing day filled with gorgeous clouds and lots of questions. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to our next adventure real soon. Bye bye for now. Oh, you're still here. Well, since I still have your attention, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button down below. Also, use the links in the description to follow us on social media. And lastly, go to askadam.tv to submit your question, and maybe we'll answer it on a future episode. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.